Hi guys, welcome to the next video and in this video in, I will talk about how you can integrate Tableau with R. So to integrate Tableau with R, we need R serve package which is present in R to establish the connection between R and Tableau and when you, con when you are connected with Tableau, Tableau basically pass the code with the script methods and then R processes that data with the live connection that we established with the help of R serve package and return the output. So first of all, let's see how we can establish a connection and then we will look at the script method. Alright, so if I come back and uh, come over here in this R. So one of the function I showed you in the last video which is library and R serve. That's one way and uh, I'll just remove that. Another thing is you can go into the packages and say load package which is again a very another way by which you can load a package and we will find a package which is rserve and click OK. So it is giving us just a warning message which we can ignore that rserve was built under version this but we may have a different version altogether like 3.2.5 but version we are running is the older version so if we upgrade that then we will not get this warning message okay once you have loaded it you need to uh, run this function which is our serve by simply uh, writing our serve press enter and it is saying that starting our serve and our serve dot exe that means the service our serve service is started and now we can go to the tableau and create the connection all right so here we are in the tableau the previous file that we have uh, i have opened and uh, what i can do is uh, i'll just close this for a moment i don't want to save it i'll open a new tableau workbook and uh, let's say i want to use some of the saved data source which you will also get once you download it and uh, go to the help and click on setting and performance and come here manage external service connection once we are here the server should be local host because we are running this server locally and uh, then the port should be 6311 you don't have to pass any username and password and simply click on test connection it will say successfully connected to the R service click OK and click OK over here once you are there then you can start passing on the argument so what i can do is uh, let me show you some of the syntax first so if i come back to my presentation and let me go into the present mode and come back here which is introduction of tableau and r and syntax overview so it has uh, four different types of function one of the function we will have going to use is the script underscore real and what it indicates that it returns the real value similarly you have script underscore bool which returns boolean value which is true and false so in this script what you write is the script underscore real function surrounded by double quotes until here so in this double quotes you will pass the r arguments or the arguments that you want to pass to the r so that will be passed in the manner of dot arg1 this dot arg1 is connected to sum of sales and after that another comma you have sum of profit which is connected to dot arg2 similarly if you had three different or four different one then you must be having the arc3 arc4 arc5 depends on how complex your calculation is so by this you can understand that Within this double quotation, you will pass all the R code and to get the data which is present in our data source, we will use the arg method, argument1, argument2. Argument1 will be connected to the first expression, argument2 will be connected to the second expression. Similarly, if there is argument3, argument4, they will be connected to their respective third and fourth aggregation function so that's quickly about it and let me show you this thing uh, into the tableau so if i close this for now presentation mode and come back to the tableau 
what I'll do is I'll go into analysis and go into the create calculated field and let me just write our func and uh, if I write like I mentioned it has four different ones so script underscore pool returns boolean value script underscore integer return integer value script underscore real returns a real value and script underscore str returns the string value so let's go to the script underscore real and uh, what I can do is uh, like I mentioned I will write uh, dot arg1 plus dot arg2 that's the one and after this uh, what I can write is comma sum of uh, sales because I have sales over here in this measure comma sum of profit all right the calculation is valid uh, what we can write is our result to make it more meaningful and click apply and okay so now we have r underscore result what i can do is i can let's say take the state over here in the rows and uh, i can take our results over here it will take couple of seconds based on the processing r is doing but now you have the addition of sales plus profit now if you want you can have the sales over here uh, beside to this maybe i'll just put it over here and uh, probably on the text so now you get uh, sales over here and the profit and if i want i can also get the profit say for example on the text so you got three different values sales the profit and the result and as you can see for alabama sales is 19511 uh, and uh, profit is 5787 but the r result is giving you the total which is 25297 so this is just a basic very basic explanation about uh, how you can uh, do the r expression so if i come here on this pill click on the drop down which is present at the end and go to edit i can come back to my expression and if i want i can use multiply or i can use divide or any other one based on which i want to process but this functionality is already present in tableau but only thing i want to show you is how argument one and argument two is taking the value from your expression going back to the r and processing the results and then coming back and returning the value to this function so that's quickly about um, R uh, related function about how it processes the data and what are the basic parameters that you need to pass so that's pretty much about it in this for this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic